What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the trade copier on MotiveWave and how to connect to your PropFirm account. So once you open up MotiveWave, if you haven't done so yet, you'll need to create a new workspace under Options, Workspaces, and you're going to make a new workspace. You can name this whatever you want, Apex or Top Step or whatever. And you are, for Top Step, you're going to come down to Top Step, click Connect to Top Step. For Apex, you're actually going to go to Rhythmic, and you're going to type in your Apex username. Now, for example, I'll open up my current one. This is my Apex one, and it's best to go to Test Connection, and you're going to want to connect to the Chicago Gateway, and under System, you want to click Apex and put in your password and hit Test Connection. When it says you're good to go, then from there, you can load in. Now I have my auto connect on and I'll continue and now we're connected. So your screen might look a little different. I'm going to do setup videos on like footprint charts and the DOM and stuff next. I just want to get the trade copier out because a lot of people uh, have asked me and a lot of people trade the prop firms. So focus on the top right now. You have the DOM right here. If you need to get to the DOM, you can click this DOM panel. You, you're probably going to have like a... Um, you're probably gonna have a chart that looks like like this. So you can activate the DOM right here because you wanna go to see these accounts so we can confirm. And click the settings, so you have DOM panel right here, setting gear on the DOM panel. Make sure you have show account choice enabled. All right, and that's gonna show your account choices. Now you should have all accounts loaded in. And if you do have any questions and you're confused or something's not working, please email Top, or Apex Top Step or Motive Wave and let them know your issue. But to get the trade copier open, you're going to go to File New and hit New Trade Copier Account. You can name this whatever you want. I can, I'm going to name this one Apex Test. Now you're going to do your lead account. Now I have 10, so I'm going to start with my highest one, 22. And then you can go down to, let's say, 21. Now this is going to, your quantity multiplier. Now. This means that if I trade one lot on 22, it's gonna trade one lot on 21. Now, how does this work? If I wanted to cross trade and trade M MNQ or MES, let's say I wanted to trade five MESs. So if I took one ES contract on 22 and I did this to 0.5, it's gonna trade 5X whatever this lead account is. So if I trade with one mini on this, then it's gonna trade five MES on 21. All right, it, it's a cross trade to the micro contract, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep it even at one. I'm gonna hit this plus gear icon, and I'm gonna keep on adding all my accounts. And I forgot to do 17. So now, once they're all on there, I can't select any more. And then you would click okay. Now under the DOM panel, I can trade either one, one account or I can trade my Apex test. And this is gonna trade all of them. I have my Apex main. I have a 13 through 17 and an 18 through 22. Now, if you ever wanna edit it or change it, come over to the account window. Here's all my accounts. This is my profit session PL for the day. And if I click Apex main, I can now change. Change the name, delete it. Um, like I don't want Apex tests anymore. Maybe I just want to have um, two accounts. Like let's say I passed five of my accounts and I only wanted this one, two, three, four, and five. I could name this Apex first five. And now Apex first five will only show me five accounts. So you can edit how many accounts you want on there if you pass them. You can see my balances are a little different because I started these five later. So once they get through these first five, I can edit it. I have a 13 through 17 here. So once 18 through 22 are good to go, I'll trade 13 through 17. That way I'm not gonna mess up the balance on these five. And if I wanna delete this, I can just delete it. And now it's gone and you can clean it up. So that's how to use the trade copier. That's how to get connected to Apex. If you guys wanna see how I have my footprint chart set up in my DOM and everything, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, also comment. And I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next one.